fresh cauliflower always makes a great choice for a nice side dish. And this sweet and spicy roasted cauliflower is one that you'll want to keep in the back of your mind. And when you see cauliflower on sale at the grocery store, grab it, come home, and make this recipe. It's so good, and there's very few ingredients. The cleanup is easy, so I'm going to show you how easy right now. First of all, I've got about four cups of cauliflowerettes, and you want to use fresh cauliflower, not frozen cauliflower. This won't work with frozen cauliflower. And then I've got some ingredients that I'm going to mix together to make a sauce to mix up with the cauliflower before it roasts in the oven. So I've got a couple tablespoons of maple syrup. That is the sweet part. And I've got about one tablespoon of sriracha sauce. And if you've never used sriracha, it's a really hot chili sauce. And you typically find it in the international aisle at the grocery store. It's very spicy. So you might want to start with half a tablespoon the first time. And then you can see how that tastes. You can always add more the next time. But I'm using one tablespoon. You could also use just some regular hot sauce that you have on hand, just a splash, maybe barbecue sauce even. Well, it would work if you wanted to use barbecue sauce. A couple tablespoons of oil. I'm using grapeseed oil today. About one and a half teaspoons of tamari, which is a gluten-free soy sauce, or you can use regular soy sauce. And about half teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. Then just mix this together. And you can see I've already lined a baking sheet with parchment paper. I've got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. Once you've got that mixed up, then just add your cauliflower florets. And then you'll just want to mix it up. Then you're just going to put the florets onto your parchment lined baking sheet. And once I have all the pieces on, I'm going to just make sure that they have plenty of space in between them. You want them to have plenty of room to breathe so that they can caramelize and get a little bit crispy as they roast. This cauliflower was in the oven at 400 degrees for 30 minutes, but I start checking at 20 minutes because once it starts to caramelize, it can burn really quickly. So keep an eye on it. I like it to just be nice and caramelized, a little bit crunchy and nice and tender. So there you have it. It's an easy recipe, a great side dish, and it's good for you. So give it a try. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.